Okay. So I'll just like flick through these here. Mm, I definitely, I was in quite a dark place when I started this project. But I think this project gave me a lot. So it's quite nice, happy memories. My name is Abby Seven. Uh, I'm an artist, currently living in Birmingham. Originally I'm from Wales. I've lived in Birmingham for eight years now. Growing up in Wales, very opposite to Birmingham. I think I always wanted to travel and move to a city. I never have an experience like before. I wanted something a bit different. Art was really the only thing I was good at at school. I was always that weird kid that was drawing. I remember sitting in the canteen and like, I must have been year seven or eight, and I had this sketchbook and I used to draw like Victorian ladies. So random. I don't know where it came from. I remember people were thinking, oh, what is she doing, what a weirdo? <laughs> she didn't give a shit. Got a picture of my me and my mum in front. <laughs> I've had this sketchbook since 2016. I think I've nearly finished it. It's taken me like six years. Mind blowing. My granddad was an artist. He drew places, he drew locations. He passed away before I kind of did the Digbeth project and before I started getting into redrawing locations here. I guess his work and him has been quite an influence on my work now. Like using materials that he used himself, that's really nice to have that connection to him. This is the hand drawn, it's like ink, and then etched into a bit of charcoal and graphite too. Um, yeah, like layering, because it's a sheet of plastic, when you're applying the liquid or the wet material, it, it moves, it doesn't dry, it takes ages to dry. So you can keep moving it and that's how you get the nice like brush texture strokes and stuff. Me drawing Birmingham was part of me trying to find some kind of connection to this place. You know, I've made this three year project drawing an area and it's brought, pe like it's brought people around me because it's the common thread between us. I've drawn all these on like scrap bits of paper because Digbeth's not perfect. It's rough around the edges. Yeah, some mark makings on site. It's a viaduct. I started off drawing Birmingham as a whole, but I just got drawn to Digbeth. I think people have got like a, a misconception that Brum is the 70s concrete jungle that it was years ago, and it's not. It's changed massively. Recently, like, my inspiration has come from Digbeth. The busyness and the energy in my Digbeth work, that is supposed to be the community, that's supposed to be the creative people that are inside those buildings, seeing what creative people, creative you know, things have done with the spaces, they've repurposed and utilised these spaces that are now, I don't know, places for people to enjoy. Food. like they're all a parallel creative thing that like a lot of my base mark makings and my drawings I'm listening to music and I'm really like I'm having a dance as I'm doing and it's that's why it's so energetic a bit of music that you might listen to you might influence the way like I make a, a, a mark on a paper it, it all interweaves I've got to have all those things I've got to be enjoying all those creative flows to be able to like make something good I think because you never know what's going to inspire you what's going to come into play I guess that's the beauty of the flow state, right? You're not thinking of anything else, you're just in the moment. I have all this artwork sat in my studio and what, like, I can't keep hold of it. I want people to enjoy them. That's why I make my work. It's for people to have something to look at that they can, they can remember an area or look at something that brings them joy. It's almost... It almost makes me a little bit sad to see them go, but 
I'm happy someone else is enjoying and that's why I make my work. I want other people to enjoy that too. The, the piece I'm working on at the minute is a self-portrait and it's a very personal piece. I felt like I had to create it and I've drawn it and gone, oh, okay, I can actually draw people. So I'm kind of going to build on that and see where it goes. Okay, so this is my new portrait uh, that I'm working on. I don't really know what else to it's say. It's weird, I've never done a piece as this personal or this... It feels like very emotional. There's, there's a lot of emotion in this piece, like more so than I've ever done before. It's something that I needed to like get out. I needed to, I needed to make this. I didn't know where it was going to go, and I've kind of had the idea of drawing a portrait or figure for a while. I didn't really know where it was going, but there's a lot of layers. There's a lot of layers underneath here, like writing and stuff as well that you can't see. You might see like little elements of what's next. So. I'm moving away from places and I'm looking at people. People don't know me for anything but drawing places. So I'm, yeah, starting something new, um, something a bit different. And I've drawn the place. I kind of want to draw the people behind that now.